Hi everybody, it's Doreen, and I'm back today with the birthday card that I made for my sister-in-law, Kathy. So come join me, and let's get started, and I'll show you how I made this card. Okay everybody, so let's get started and make this card. I'm going to bring up my supplies. First of all, my card, or the base of my card, measures five and a half by eight and a half. And then I've taken my score buddy and scored it to five and a quarter. And this cardstock is some more of that um, cardstock that I got from work. I'm going to make sure I use as much of it as I can because I was given quite a bit. So, now I'm going to go ahead and add my top layer and my ribbon. So, my top layer measures five and a quarter by four and a quarter and I've taken that and I've run it through my cuddle bug using my cuddle bug Swiss dots folder that looks like this and so now we're gonna go ahead and lay this down but before we lay it down I'm gonna go ahead and put my ribbon I remembered to add it this time so I'm gonna use my usual cheater method and measure out where I want my ribbon and I think I'm gonna put it about right there because what I eventually want to do is add my birthday and the happy so I want to make sure I got the ribbon in the center of, in between those two so let's go ahead and measure this out first before I tape it down to make sure that's where I want it. Okay, so that's where I want to put it. So I'm going to go ahead and take my tape and use my cheater method. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the first side first. I'm going to tape that down and then I'll go back to the front and look at how to lay the front down and I think I need to come down just a little bit more so I'm going to take this up real quick and just move it down just a little bit so maybe about right there I, think I had it up just a little bit too high before and then I'm going to turn it over and tape it down so a nice piece of ribbon measures um, I think I cut this this measures seven inches and I'll line it up and take my tape and then just go ahead and tape it down Okay, so now that looks about right where I want it. So now let's go ahead and we're going to tape it to the card, or the base card. And I think actually before I do that, I want to go ahead and add my um, fake knot as well. That way I can have it all on one before I tape it down to the base of the card. So... I'm just taking a piece of ribbon that measures about six inches and I'm going to go ahead and just tie a little knot right here and just go ahead and tie it like so and then I'll cut it after I've gotten it on my card. Okay, so I think I'll just go ahead and snip this like so and I'll snip this in like so and then I'm gonna tape it down so I'm gonna use my ATG gun to tape it down I'm gonna go along my edges as usual and then I'm gonna take and put some tape in the middle And now we can add that to the card. 
So I'm going to go ahead and open up my card and I'm going to lay this down right there. And I can still, if I want, move this over just a little bit. And then I'm going to do my edges. Make sure I've got it all the way down. So that will be the front. And I noticed that I do have just a little bit of adhesive down here at the bottom. So I'm going to use my adhesive remover and just go ahead and remove any of the tape from the ATG gun that I've gotten along the edges. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add the happy birthday. Now, I did this on the Gypsy, and I'm going to try to give you how you could do this with your Cricut. But I'm going to give you the measurements for the Gypsy first. This is from the Birthday Bash cartridge. And what I've done is I took first and I cut out, or I'm sorry, I laid out on my Gypsy these banner and they're located on page 63 right here and that would be key number let's see 43 on your gypsy so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and find the banner and like I said before, it is key 43. However, you need to hit the font icon to get to the banner. And it looks like this. And I go I went ahead and laid out five of these. And then the next thing I did was I took and put my letters and the, the, I cut, the measurements for these is 0.87 on your Gypsy. It, I guess if you were going to do this with your Cricut, you'd have to cut these at three quarters of an inch and then just put your letters on top of the um, banner. And the letters are cut at 0 .60. So once I had my five banners going across, I then took and attached or welded the happy to the banners. And I kind of picked this technique up from Kathy from Paper Phenomenon. She had a Ustream class at um, Christmas time where she showed how you could make a banner um, that said Merry Christmas, but your banner wouldn't have to be so long. You could take and put your letters and weld them together on top of the banner. So now, like I said, if you were going to do this on your Cricut, I would cut this the banner at three quarters of an inch. And then um, I would cut the letters at maybe a half an inch. It ends up being .60 on your Gypsy. So now, let's go ahead and lay out the happy and then the birthday. So I can, you can, we can look and see where we want it. And I probably may have to cut the tail of my knot so that you can see the letters. But I just first want to just lay it out to see how it's going to look. And I think I like the way that looks, so I'm now ready to go ahead and glue this down. And I'm going to use the um, two-way zig pen to put this down. I think I'll start with the birthday first. And just go ahead. i got to get my glue pen started. I hope it hasn't dried out. I think I might have left the top off of it. Well, I may have to get another one. Just a minute. Okay, I got my pen going now. I don't know why it was taking so long 
for it to um, start flowing out the glue. I don't believe I left the cap off, but maybe I, or maybe it's just out of glue. I have been making quite a bit of cards, and I did use it when I made the um, mini album for my husband for his birthday. So it could be that I was just out. So now I've got enough glue on that side so let's get the tweezers out and go ahead and lay this down so I'm gonna go ahead and adhere it down and I'm gonna make sure I get it where I want it before I press it completely down so there we go so now we have the birthday laid out. So now let's go ahead and add the happy. So once again, I'm going to use my two-way zig pen and go ahead and adhere the glue to this. And I probably could have run this through my um sticker maker but I wasn't sure if it would fit through and I didn't want to tear the letters because they're really delicate being it welded to the um, banner so I think I'll just stick to the two-way glue pen so now I have that one on and we can go ahead and take the tweezers and pick that up and then just go ahead and lay it down where I want it and I'm going to put it about right there. And then go ahead and press down to make sure that it has adhered to the card. So now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and I've cut out, using my Cricut again, this cupcake. And this cupcake is from the Sweet Treats cartridge. I'm using that one again. And it is on page 28. And it's this one right here. And I cut this at 2 inches. So you can go ahead and cut this one out on using your Cricut at 2 inches. And I cut this out using white cardstock. And what I did with that after I cut it out was I took my milled lavender distress ink and I distressed the all of the white cardstock and then I took my liquid applique pen and put some of that on the top of the cupcake and then I took my heat tool and ran it along the liquid applique so that it would make it puff up and look like um, frosting or icing. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. And then after that was completely dry, I took some of my lavender stickles and put that on the heart and then along the paper, uh, the cupcake paper. So now I'm going to go ahead and add this and I'm going to pop this up using um, some foam tape. So let me cut some foam tape and go ahead and pop that up. And I think I'm going to use two thicknesses of foam tape this time because I really want it to stand out on the card. So I'll add my um, two pieces of foam tape. If I can tear that off. And there we go. So I'll go ahead and add that. And maybe I'll angle it just a little bit. Well, I don't want to cover up the Y in the happy. So I'll just put it right there on the edge. And then I'm going to cut this down just a little bit more like so 
Okay, so there you have it. There's the front of the card. So now let's work on the sentiment for the inside of the card. Okay, everybody. Now, you know that I could not finish the front of this card without adding some bling. I just had to add it. So what I did was I went back and I added some bling using my IROC tool and my IROC gems that look like this. And I added that each one of the blings to the tips of the banner down up at the top and then down at the bottom and then I took and added some of the bling on the ribbon as well and then the last thing I did was I took and added a glitter dome sticker and they look like this on my little fake knot so it looks like this in the front. So now let's go ahead and add the sentiment. So what I've done for the inside sentiment is I took a piece of the yellow cardstock and this measures um, five and a quarter by two and fifteen sixteenths. It was an odd measurement because I had a strip of this cardstock that measured ten inches in length and then the height was 2 and 15, 16, so I decided to use it. And what I did was I took my Martha Stewart Vintage Floral Punch and I punched out each one of the corners. So now, before I add this in the inside, I've made a, taken some of my um, clear stamps and the two that I've used is the Simple Thoughts, Happy Birthday, and this is a Fisker's set. It's called um, Fisker's Cloud from Joann's, and it has different um, sentiments in it for birthday. And then I also took another stamp set that I have that's um, Itty Bitty Flowers, and I'm not sure who this is by because I didn't keep the label. So I've taken two of, or actually three of the stamps from those two sets and I've put them together on a glass block and I'm going to go ahead and add these to this piece of um, cardstock here. And so what I'm going to do is ink up my stamp and I'm using the Pink Passion by Stampin' Up. And I put down a mat so that um, I can raise up. It, it, it just works out better when you're stamping with the clear stamps. So I'm going to go ahead and ink up my stamp. And I make sure I get it. Lots of ink on it so it comes through. And then I was going to use the stamp -a jig for this except... This ended up being too wide for the stamp -a jig so I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball it and stamp my image out on here. So I'm going to try to get it in the center, and then I'm just going to stamp down and apply pressure. And then I'm going to lift it up, and there you have it. So now what we need to do is go ahead and add this to the inside of the card. And I'm going to um, go ahead and add that using my ATG gun. And I'm going to move this out the way so I don't get any tape on that. And just go ahead and go along my edges and then get down there in the middle. And I'm not going to worry about the corners and getting any tape in the corners because, once again, I'm going to use my adhesive tool remover to get any tape that came through on the other side. So now let's go ahead and lay this down. And what the stamp says is the quality, not the longevity of one's life is what is important. And I'm going to lay it down. 
right there. Make sure I have it adhered down. And then I'll take my adhesive remover tool and remove any tape that I've gotten in between the holes of the floral on the edge there. So it looks like I got pretty much, I didn't get that much on there, so I did pretty good not getting it in there. Except up in this corner here, so I'm going to take and use this end of my tool to get that up. And there you have it. I've gotten it all up. So that is the inside of the card. So now, this is the complete birthday card. Thanks for watching, everybody, and happy birthday, Kathy. Bye.